And we have this new for you at 6 tonight. Sometimes the attention span over natural disasters can be too short, and Haiti is mostly out of the headlines these days, but the rebuilding goes on with help from people from Sacramento. KCRA3's Walt Gray has that story. Haiti, January 12, 2010. A 7-0 earthquake rocks this fragile region, killing 300,000 people and leaving up to 2 million homeless. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, and getting back to whatever is normal has been slow. Human resources, obviously financial resources that actually make it to the people. Sacramento's Judy Sautelin is part of a church group leaving on a mission to work in Port-au-Prince. Haiti is massive, and in some ways it's, they feel a little bit intractable, uh, the problems in Haiti, so, so much bigger even than, than what's happening in Japan right now, um, partly because of the condition the country was in prior to the earthquake. The church pastor, David Beck, was in Haiti for six weeks right after the earthquake. His church group's primary focus is on an orphanage, which includes at-risk or suffering children. The need is overwhelming. We take in as many as we can responsibly care for, and then we're looking to to raise them up to be difference makers in Haiti. And, uh, and so it's not, it's not a, a get kids and send them out, it's a get kids and send them back in. His idea is to develop a new generation of leaders for Haiti. Pastor Beck and his group will arrive on May 20th, the same day the country swears in a new president, a political outsider, a singer. Yet another beginning for a country with more problems to solve than leaders to solve them. In Sacramento, Walt Gray, KCRA 3 reports. And if you'd like to help Pastor Beck on his mission to Haiti, we've set up a link on our website. Just go to KCRA.com and click on the As